Right then, so the next bit's about medians and interquartile range, and we're still on the first lesson. Wow, is this? Um, so hopefully you know that the lower quartile, or the first quartile, is the bottom 25%. The median is the second quartile, it's where 50% of the data is. And the third quartile is the 75%. So hopefully you remember that from school. Now all of that is in your calculator. Right, so very quickly, put these numbers in your calculator. So I'm going to pause it while I put them in the calculator. Hang on. If the calculator works. Right, I've stuck them in my calculator and I've double checked it because I'm bound to get some of this wrong. just need to expand this page a little bit. Hang on. So I've got room to write. Okay. So on my calculator, if I do the one that now, just double check, if I had ones in list two, then I'd want it as list one, list two. But because I haven't, I've got it on list one, one. So list one, one is fine for just the numbers. But if you put, if you've got it list one, list two, you want frequencies in there as well. Right, so one there. So first of all, the median it wants. So let's scroll down, let's have a look. I've got the minimum is two, I've got the lower quartile is three, I've got the median is six, and I've got the upper quartile is nine. So three, six, nine in that order. So my median is six, my lower quartile is three, my upper quartile is nine, so my interquartile range, my middle 50%. There. So my interquartile range is 6. There. there we go. There. <clears throat> so look what's on the next page. So it says in question 2, <coughs> So I've got all these different times it takes to solve a puzzle. So it says 23 people solved the puzzle, but three of them failed to solve it within the 60 seconds. So I've kind of got three people tagged on the end here with unknown numbers that are massive. So it says for the times taken by all 23 people, explain why the mode is not the most appropriate. So if you look, if you look at those numbers in order, it would mean that your mode is a, it's a 60 plus. Uh, I'll be smart here, I'm doing part B instead of part A. So let me just put this in here. So mode's not appropriate, uh, would be, well actually it would potentially be, three people who are 60 plus, if they got the same time. You haven't got that information, have you? But if you look throughout it, there is no mode, other than that, so there's, so there is no mode. There's nothing, oops, sticking. There's nothing where it's repeated. Right, so, uh, so it says calculate the median and interquartile range of all 23 people. So, hmm. You can't do that, that's ridiculous. What the pack's done, bah, they've said, all right, we don't know what it is, so let's take it as 61. Bah, I don't like that, but that's what we're doing. That's what, the, that's what the textbook must have told us to do, so that's what we're doing. So if we stick them 61s in there, then it gives us a median, so you can stick it in your calculator and try it, for 42, and the interquartile range of 55 minus 31, which is 24. So I kind of disagree, I, I, I don't know, it's what it's what the textbook does, it kind of gets to me that, that we should do something like that. So, why is the range not an appropriate measure? We don't know the biggest ones, do we really? We don't know. biggest. We've guessed 61. 
That's what I think of guessing 61. Well, it'd be what the uh, textbook does. So you can't argue with that, can you? Right then. So when we talk about the median, you mentioned the average. When we talk about the interquartile range, we talk about the spread, the consistency, the same as. I think that's the end of the first lesson. Phew, we're done. Well done, everybody. Bye-bye.